I've noticed you're pretending to masturbate, and I was wondering if you wanted to talk about it. If you're a fan of sex education TV show and on the lookout for something similar, then you're on the right place. So, today let's look at the best teen comedy drama shows that are similar to sex education. Before we move on to our list, do subscribe to our channel if you're a movie freak and never wants to miss a good movie. Number 5. I am not okay with this. This is the love child of sex education, it is a beautifully decorated 80s TV show based in the 21st century, where time has stopped in the 80s. The plot is great, much going on, so the show starts to turn mysterious, and who doesn't love a mystery? The second to last scene was a very gruesome display at Sydney, being unable to control her power and emotions which ultimately lead to a very Carrie-esque walk on the road before running off. But the full series reveals that I am not okay with this explores the powerful anger of teen girls, whereas a 17-year-old girl trying to come to terms with her grief and sexuality. Number 4. Bonding. This is an American comedy series which follows the life of a graduate named Tiffany Chester, who hires her gay best friend Peter Devon as her business partner, where they venture into the world of S&M as a business, not a pleasure. Within the process of being business partners they get to bring up a definition for their friendship and find themselves. It's just a fun depraved smart humor which is actually very real, the only bad thing in this show is that the episodes are really short. Number 3. Everything sucks. This show revolves around two groups of students at Boring High School in Oregon in 1996. They join the AV club on the first day of school where Luke meets and develops a crush on Kate Messner, the principal's daughter who's boring. The running story throughout season one is the hate between the AV club and drama club. Meanwhile, Ken, Kate's father, starts a relationship with Luke's mother, which complicates matters for Kate and Luke. Kate eventually comes out to Luke and breaks off their relationship. Luke remains as her friend, and even though he's still in love with her, he's supportive of her coming out journey. Firstly that if you were a kid in the 80s and grew up in the 90s, you only need to look at shows like this to see how recognizable and distinct they were. Number 2. Never Have I Ever. Story starts off with an 15-year-old Indian-American girl in Southern California named Devi, who got recently recovered from a paralysis which landed her in a wheelchair for months. She hangs out with a crew, where the whole college thing is nerdy and stupid. Her college life falls apart where everyone starts to think that she's a loser. Then Devi finds a solution, whereas she thinks losing her virginity to the hottest guy in the college named Paxton will actually make her a star in the college and then experience true happiness. It's so much more than just a typical teenage comedy, or a chick flick as people call it, with a heavy emotional core. Number 1. On My Block. This is a teen drama. Show starts off with four best friends living in the west side of Los Angeles namely Ruby, Caesar, Monse, and Jamal who are about to start off their high school life in a gangster environment. Caesar is pulled into gangster activities, where his brother Oscar runs a gang, this complicates the relationship with Monse. Meanwhile on the other side Jamal is obsessed with a hidden prize money, whereas people have been running rumors for 30 years. Each of these characters is battling demons on their own. They don't have the necessary support from society. Of course, some are trying to escape the neighborhood especially Monse who decides to attend a private all-girls school far away. On My Block does a fine job of focusing on its characters' racial and socio-political problems leavened with light-hearted moments of friendship, romance, and comedy. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to drop us a like to support this video. See you in another video. Cheers.